All right, Jack. Uh, Warzone. Um, this is this is one that like that that you and I will just like do for fun. We'll, we'll be the um, the proverbial the proverbial punching bags to the other people in the faction. But hey, look where it's gotten you. You're in the tournaments. You have a really good chance against a really good competitor. Um, David, he knows his stuff. But I think I think with the right strategy and the right tools, I think we can make an upset today. What do you think? Oh, I think so as well. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, I've been uh, I've been prepping for this match all week, and uh, now we're here. So we'll see uh, see how well it paid off. I'm not managing somebody from a CD hotel room this time, so you're going to get some much better advice than some other people. Matters make a man. Let's play, David. It's been a while. I feel like, like, yeah. I don't know the last time you had a Warzone match. Uh, it's been a minute. Not this year, <laughs> but it's tournament time. Uh, the last time you were in a tournament. Uh, remember you're doing pretty well made it pretty far through and you know your stuff I, I don't know too much about your opponent i don't but we do not overlook anyone uh you never know what's going to happen you never know what's going to go down but seeing you play i know you know what you, you're doing you were a team's champion at one point and i know you're looking for a singles championship too how you feeling about today i feel good uh like you said, I mean, this is—it's been a while since I played Warzone last time. I mean, this is my first match pretty much this year. Um, don't know much about Jack, but you know, uh, anything can happen. I don't want to take any opponents lightly. Uh, this year, I'm trying to—I'm trying to go all the way. So, you know, last year I did pretty good, but this year I want to go to the finish line. So, hey. yeah, it's the first time. Let's do it. Awesome, let's go. Make it a little further each year, and at some point by the end of this, I'm gonna figure out if Jack just has the best camera in the history of cameras, or that's a green screen. Because I don't know, I'm confused. Yeah, His background is. Awesome. Yeah. Let's get this going. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Multiplex Movie Warzone. We are here. It is the Summer Series Tournament. We've got a great match for you today. We've got the number eight seed David Nishimoto going up against the number twenty five seed Mr. Jack Pinchuk. I'm your host, Cameron Holzman. On the desk with me, we have got Mr. Andrew Barr. Barr, how you doing? And thoughts on the match we are about to see? Uh, I don't know. I've already kind of gotten berated beforehand. Uh, some by the contestants, some by myself. So uh, I'm excited, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, uh, in answer to Anthony's earlier question, uh, Jack does not have a better camera or a great green screen. He is at his grandmother's house, if I'm not mistaken, right now. Uh, so with that being said, we will get into round number one. We will bring in our contestants. Uh, round number one is going to look like this. You're going to get eight different questions in eight different categories across the realm of movies. All of them. Uh, you'll have about 15 to 20 seconds to write down your answer. If you get it correct, you will get a point. If you get it incorrect, you will not get a point. At the end of all eight questions, if you get all eight of them correct, you will be issued a bonus question also worth one point. Uh, reminder to both competitors that you have three repeats and a challenge to use throughout the match. Any questions before we get going? No. no. All right, then I will be giving you your first question, which will come in the category of biopics. Mank is about the making of what classic film? I'm going to be honest with you. I'm just noticing this now. Without my records up here on my wall, my room looks so much bigger than it actually is. You know, you could say that. Or maybe you just look smaller. Five, four, three. I feel insulted. Two, one, pens down. Too bad. Uh, we'll start with David. <laughs> uh, Citizen Kane. And Jack. Citizen Kane. Both correct. All right, as we move into your next category, which is directors, how many theatrically released films did Steven Spielberg direct in the 1970s? Now, Bar, you were alive during this decade, yes? Yes, yes, I was. Uh, I least, was. Or at least your taste in film, music, and generally everything was. Yes, uh, I was a. Fine. Point five year old kid. Three, two, one. Pens down, and we'll go to Jack. Three. And David. Four. Four is correct. The films being Sugarland Express, Jaws, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, and 1941. So we will get to your third question in the category of actors and actresses. What actor appears in Harry and the Hendersons, Orange County, and Rise of the Planet of the Apes? 
have you uh have you ever eaten an orange? <laughs> Is it bad if I say no? Actually, kind of. Yeah. Do you not get oranges in Canada? We do. <laughs> I may be lying. I may be telling the truth. The, you also may have scurvy. Five, four. We don't have rats. Three, <laughs> two, one. Bends down. We'll go to David. Uh, John Lithgow. And Jack. John Lithgow. Both correct. All right. As we move on to your next question, which is going to come in classics. According to Clarence in It's a Wonderful Life, what occurrence indicates that an angel has gotten its wings? Have you ever seen the musical version of this? Is it called White Christmas? No, it's... Is it called Christmas in Connecticut? I don't even know. <laughs> Is it called Meet Me in St. Louis? <laughs> Is it called um, uh, A Christmas Carol, the musical? <laughs> all correct. Three, two... One pens down. We'll go to Jack. When a bell rings. And David. Exactly. When a bell rings. Both correct. Your next question will come in the category of Oscars. For what film did Jack Nicholson win his last Oscar? Uh, you know, you and I have both seen this man's last film that he acted in. Yes. And it's not good. I loved it at first, and then I watched it well, and went, oh, no, oh, no. It, this is... It's so... Uh, it, it was supposed to be Bill Murray instead. Five, four, three, no. two, one. Pens down. We'll go to David. As good as it gets. And Jack. As good as it gets. Both correct. All right. Your next question is going to come in the category of horror. What is the profession of Adrian Barbeau's character in 1980's The Fog? This film, of course, being a prequel to The Mist. The Mist. Correct. I believe yeah. my letter box review of this movie specifically states, it's like The Mist, except instead of mist, there's fog. And instead of being good, it sucks. Because I hate this movie. <laughs> that, man, when it comes to that joke, four, it missed. Three, two, one pens down and we'll go to jack i don't know a doctor and david uh lighthouse keeper both incorrect we're looking for a dj specifically like oh. a radio dj okay. uh as we get to your penultimate question which will come in the category of music who plays club owner bud grossman in inside lewin davis This movie's so good. Oh, absolutely. It's one of my all-time favorites, actually. Same. It's one of, like, the five movies that I have on Criterion, and one of the ones I actually bought myself instead of just, like, getting in a random bag. Five, <laughs> four, three. Money well spent. Two, one. Pens down. We'll go to David. Uh, J.K. Simmons. And Jack. I've never seen it. John Goodman. Both incorrect. John Goodman is in the movie, though, but we were looking for F. Murray Abraham. <sighs> and your final question is going to come in drama. So movies. What is the cause of Rita's amnesia in Mulholland Drive? Now, this is one I haven't seen yet, but if I was to listen to Kirk Kolakowski, I should because I don't listen to Kirk on this movie tastes. That's fair. I have not seen this either, and I don't really care to. I probably will at some point, though. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll go to Jack. Gets hit on the head. And David. Car accident? Car accident is correct. So at the end of round number one, I have David at six, Jack at four. Is that what you have? Bar. This is correct. All right, then we will get into round number two. We will bring in the lovely wheel from wheeldecide.com, as I'm contractually obligated to call it. Our wheel has eight different categories on it, as well as spinners and opponent's choice. Our competitor in the lead, in this case, David, will get to choose whether he would like to spin first or defer. Uh, whichever player spins, if they like what they get on their first spin, they can choose to keep it or spin again unless they land on uh, opponent's choice. Uh, whatever they get on their second spin, they will be forced to keep. Uh, Whatever category they end up with, they will get five questions worth two points apiece, or they can go to multiple choice for one point, 
But a reminder, stealing is available. So if you get a question wrong, your opponent can just take those points right away from you and put them on their board. So uh, with that, we will bring in Anthony. I will read the categories on the wheel today. You have post-1990 director filmography, 2010s animation, family, classics, 90s Jerry Goldsmith, Disney animation, comedy and scores and soundtracks. So with that, uh, David, would you like to spin first or defer? What do, what do you prefer? You don't like to go first. You like to let's see what happens. Yeah, let's see what I like. You know, please let's play a safe little second. Go second. All right, defer. Yeah. All right. So we will take out Anthony. We will bring in Thomas Scully for Jack's first spin, which is away. And you land on the category of comedy. Would you like to keep that or spin again? I'm thinking we spin again. I agree. I mean, it's not a terrible wheel, but I mean, I think it's a little bit. I think we want to stay away from broad. Yeah, we'll try try our best to stay away from broad categories. We can spin. I'm spinning again. All right, spinning again. Whatever you land on, you will be stuck with. And you land on opponent's choice. So Oh, that's awesome. Send out Scully, and we'll bring in Anthony. Uh, do you need a reminder of what is on the wheel? Um, no. No, I think we're good. Um, well, I know we talked about this a little bit. There's, yeah. Uh, thinking, which one are you thinking? Um, there's one category I don't want. It. I don't want. So I just want to give them down, I think. So that'll be classics. That sounds good. See that. All All right. right. So I will take out Anthony. I will take out the wheel. Uh, Bar, you're old emotionally. Uh, So would you like to read the classics questions to Jack? All right. Uh, I'll just move on. And uh, Jack, your first question in classics. In Some Like It Hot, Joe makes sugar cane fall in love with him. By disguising himself as a man who owns what type of company? Uh, oil company. That is correct for two points. Show Your next there. question. Who plays Marnie Edgar in Marnie? Uh, I feel like I might get this on multiple. We'll go multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Eva Murray Saint, B, Tippi Hedren, C, Grace Kelly, or D, Kim Novak? D. D is incorrect. Chance for the one-point steal. Your options again are A, Ava Marie Saint, B, Tippi Hedren, C, Grace Kelly, or D, Kim Novak? C. C is also incorrect. We were looking for B, Tippi Hedren. Oh. Your next question, Jack. What classic romantic comedy features the characters Ellie Andrews and Peter Warren? Multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, The Shop Around the Corner, B, His Girl Friday, C, It Happened One Night, or D, Bringing Up Baby. Can I get a full repeat? Absolutely. That's going to be your first. So your question again was, what classic romantic comedy features the characters Ellie Andrews and Peter Warren? And your options were A, The Shop Around the Corner, B, His Girl Friday, C, It Happened One Night, or D, It Bringing Up Baby? A. A is incorrect. Chance for the one-point steal. Your options again are a, the shop around the corner. B, his girl Friday. C, it happened one night. Or D, bringing up baby. B. That's a boy. B is also incorrect. We were looking for C. It happened one night. Oh, God damn it! Can I steal these things? All right. <laughs> Your next question: Who plays yacht designer C. K. Dexter? in the Philadelphia story. I'm sorry, give, give me one sec. I missed up something. Oh. Your question again, who plays yacht designer C.K. Dexter Haven in the Philadelphia story? Is it, is it James Stewart? That is incorrect chance for the two point steal. Cary Grant? That is correct for two points. 
to make sure he's in. And your final question, what is the profession of Spencer Tracy's character in Boys Town? Uh, multiple. Your multiple choice options are A, teacher, B, police officer, C, priest, or D, lawyer? Uh, lawyer. That is incorrect. Chance for the one point steal. Your options again are A, teacher, B, police officer, C, priest, or D, lawyer? Um, priest. That is correct for one point. All right. So at the end of Jack's spin, I have Jack getting up to six uh, and David with some key steals, getting himself up to nine. Is that what you have, Bar? That is what I have. All right. Then we will bring it back in the wheel and we will bring Anthony back in for David's first spin at the wheel. Nicely done, David. Yeah. And you land on spinner's choice. Uh, would you like me to reread the categories or do you know what you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, you do what you got to do. I mean, it's, at some point, the wheel had to be nice to us. Uh, which one do you want? Um, I kind of want the Jerry Goldsmith questions. I've seen a I, lot of I know you're, you have intrigue in that because you've decreed it. Uh, up to you. <laughs> it's going to be plot and everything. So just know that. If you feel good about that, I'm good with that. I trust I mean, you neither. I think taking a little risk. You have some room to wiggle. You have some wiggle room here. So. Did, I did study this the whole week. Uh, and if you studied it, then do it. Yeah, let's do it. Jerry Goldsmith. There you go. Uh, yeah, take your time. Uh, I will take away the wheel. I will take away Anthony. Uh, David, I will be reading you your questions in the category of 90s Jerry Goldsmith. So your first question. Who plays armed criminal Wade in The River Wild? Kevin Bacon. That is incorrect, Jack, for oh. a two-point steal. Damn it. Five, four, three, two. Guy Pierce. One. That is incorrect. We're looking for John C. Riley. Right. Uh, your second question. And David, can we just get hands? Yeah, sorry. Just maybe. Your second question. What is the name of the leader of the Gorgonites in Small Soldiers? Archer. That is correct for two points. In what U.S. city does Basic Instinct take place? Multiple choice. All right, your multiple choice options are A, Seattle, B, San Francisco, C, Las Vegas, or D, San Diego. Five, four. San Francisco? Three. That is correct for one point. What was the name of the show Jack was a technical advisor on in L.A. Confidential? Oh, okay. Um, badge of Honor. That is correct for two points. And your final question. What does Alan give Charles for his birthday in The Edge? Oh, five, four. I'll go multiple. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, a watch, B, a knife, C, a lighter, or D, a ring. What, uh, a knife. And that is correct for one point. So at the end of round number two, I have David at 15, Jack at six. Is that what you have, Bar? Yeah. All right, then we will get into round number three. Round number three, as always, is our pick your poison round. Our competitors are going to get to choose what they want for their one, two, three, and four point questions. Uh, our competitor who is behind will answer questions first until they have either caught up or been eliminated. The categories that our competitors can choose from today are directors, comic book movies, 
scores and soundtracks, 2010s, recent releases, biopics, 2000s, and mystery thrillers. So we will let our competitors choose what they want, and we will be right back. All right, we are back. Our competitors have had the chance to choose what they want for their one, two, three, and four point questions. David has chosen his one in 2010s, his two in 2000s, his three in directors, and his four in comic book movies. Whereas Jack has chosen his one in 2000s, his two in 2010s, his three in comic book movies, and his four in recent releases. Uh, so we will start with Jack as he is behind, and we will ask him questions until either he has caught up or been mathematically eliminated. I will be asking Jack his questions because uh, Day uh, Barr asked him them in round number two. So your first question, Jack, in the category of 2000s. Who plays Anthony Swafford in Jarhead? Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. That's correct for one point. Your two-point question in the 2010s. Uh, and I do believe you need to hit every question from here on out to avoid the knockout. Or the TKO, sorry. Yeah. What instrument does Solomon play in 12 Years a Slave? Oh, shit. Violin? That is correct for two points. So your three-point question in comic book movies. What is the name of Samuel L. Jackson's character in The Spirit? Good game, David. I got no idea. No answer? No, I... And your winner... By way of technical knockout, David Nishimoto, we were looking for the octopus. The octopus was the correct answer. So with that being said, we will get into post-match interviews, starting with our unfortunate second-place finisher, Jack. Um, yeah, spinners and opponents, there's not much you can do. Uh, you kept yourself in there as best as you could, uh, and I think – what happens to a lot of fandom players in round three in Warzone is you really hope it'll be a fandom comic book movie, and it almost never is. Uh, but still, uh, you played a good game in round one, kept things close as best you could. But yeah, how are you feeling? I mean, I mean, it's never, uh, never good to, or you never feel. I never feel really good when uh, not putting up as many points. But I mean, you, there's not much you can do with with uh, getting opponent's choice uh, when most of the movies you haven't seen. But uh, no, I guess this just means I have to uh, have to study better for, uh, for Warzone, uh, watch more movies. So that's, I guess, what, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, you're one and one now. I'm sure we'll see you again at some point. Um, yeah. Uh, anyone you want to play when you return? Uh no, give me who give me uh whoever give me whoever. I'm I'm easy going here. Uh yeah, I, I'm just here to play. Uh, whoever you give me, I'll I'll take. All right. Well, we will say goodbye to Jack and to Scully. We will bring in our winner for the night, David Nishimoto. David, how are you feeling? Uh yeah, I feel good. I mean, is it is a tough break that he caught both uh Corner's choice and I got spinner's choice, but um, it was good. I mean, it was definitely good first game uh, for me. Um, I would have challenged that River Wild question if I remember what the other guy's, what Giants Rise character's name was, and I couldn't pull it. And I just like, ah, I, just, I just let it go. But yeah, next time I, yeah, I just that's what I got to learn about for every, every match to like learn when to challenge and stuff like that. But uh, overall, yeah, I'm glad of the results, and I'm glad to, I'm glad to not answer any round three questions because those point those two pointer and three pointer was pretty hard. So <laughs> it was on that yeah, level, I would have been in trouble. <laughs> you, absolutely. You uh, so oh. you are oh, advancing that, okay. on to the next round, where you will, where you will be playing the winner of the eleven versus the twenty two. Oh come on! Who's that? Wait. Which, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken, oh, damn I wasn't confident. But I believe is that right? Am I right? The eleven versus the twenty-two. I don't think that's. I right. believe. I, I don't think that's right. No. No, okay. you're you're Wait, you'll be playing the winner of the of the. Jake, oh, how do yeah, sports math work? 
Uh, how does the tournament work? Do the not cut this. Somebody in the order of the nine versus the twenty-four. I think that's because they should have to seventeen, right? There. <laughs> yeah, I, I think know. you'll be playing. Well, let's say you're playing the winner of the nine versus the twenty-four. Uh, so you'll be playing the winner of, uh, I believe, I'm really bad at my job uh, of either Kaiser Huang or Stephanie uh, Rodriguez. Uh, thoughts on that? Uh, I don't know what order these matches are airing. So even if it has filmed already, please do not say anything that may spoil said match. Uh, thoughts. <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, Kai, I know Kaiser's good, so I mean, uh, I don't want to face him, but I know Steph, I seen Stephanie's first match on uh, one match, and she's good, and I think she's going to be a sleeper in this tournament for sure. So, yeah. but I don't want to play I'll, anyone, they're both yeah. good, Dave. But David showed up, he did what he needed to do. He, spinners and opponent's choice when you finally get it, it's nice. It doesn't always work though, he still had to pull off what he had to pull off in his own strength. and Jack did a good job. Yeah. He honestly did. He did pretty well in classics and was able to pick and choose through multiple, get a couple there. But oh, freaking yeah. we have to play Kaiser. <laughs> this is not eleven for twenty-two. You scared me there for a second. I didn't want that. Look, I don't know how brackets work. I don't watch sports. <laughs> but with that being said, we will say goodbye to David and Anthony. We will go to Bar for final thoughts on the desk. Please don't yell at me like everyone in the private chat is. <laughs> Kim. I'm very proud of you today. You did a great job hosting this match. It was very, it was a very fun match. Um, and hopefully you won't shit the bet next time. <laughs> so on behalf of me. At Multiplex Movie War Zone, I have been Cameron Holzman on behalf of Andrew Barr, uh, Jack Pinchuk, Thomas Scully, Anthony Tisdall, and David Nishimoto. Thank you all for watching. Have a great whatever time of day it is that you are watching this match. Bye bye. Have fun storming the castle. Think it'll work? It would take a miracle. Goodbye. Bye.